so I am back after a really really long time and I am going to make my second part of the my series of YouTube made me buy it and this time it is lips and I have nine different products here that I am going to share with you right now so if that sounds like something that you want to see then keep on watching so the first thing is uh, these and these are the EOS lip balms I have gone through so many of these and this one hasn't got that much left of it either and I love them they are great on the lips they are cute packaging and uh, these are so expensive in Sweden. We pay almost 9 euros for them at most places. And I know this one, actually my sister got me when she was in Canada, I think. And she paid like 3-4 bucks for it. So that's quite a difference in money. But I can highly recommend them. They've gotten really popular now the last few, I think the last year. So they've gone a bit up down a bit in price, but still quite expensive for a lip balm. But they are really, really awesome. I love them. Next thing here is also a lip balm, and this is the Maybelline Baby Lips. And these were a phenomenon when they came out in Sweden. I think they came out last year, a year ago, I think, during 2014 or end of 2013. And we still haven't got all the flavors and all the lines, but I have a few different here. I have three from the like regular line that is grapevine. We don't have that in Sweden, but my sister got me that from San Diego, I think. And then I have Hydrate and I have Peach Kiss. Looks like that. And then I have two from two other collections that they have. I have first this from Dr. Rescue and this is Coral Cave. I got this in a swap with Samantha and these are supposed to be like menthol and like good for your lips other than a normal lip balm. This is going to be like yeah rescuing your lips. I don't know what the thing is for them. The tagline or whatever. And then I have one that we actually can get in Sweden now, I think. But I got this in a swap too, I think. Or my sister got it for me, I can't remember. But this is the, uh, like, what was it called? Rocks or neons or something? I, I can't remember the line, but this is Strike a Rose. And it is a pinky, rosy color. And I actually really like the baby lips. I mostly like the ones without any color because I think those are more hydrating and moisturizing. So like this one, this is no color whatsoever. And I also have one from the Dr. Rescue, but that is at work, so I don't have it at home. So I prefer the ones without color, actually. I didn't think I would do that, but I do. And uh, yeah, so this is a few of my baby lips. Another thing that a few years ago was such a hype on YouTube was the Revlon lip butters and I just had to have one so I ordered from eBay actually the color raspberry pie and they say that these are going to be sheer but most of the colors I have are very 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 opaque and I love that because it is a lipstick for me it's not like a lip balm or like a sheer lipstick these are really opaque lipsticks and I love it and I have a few now. I have more than these but I can't, could just find these five. So I have uh, Raspberry Pi. Another favorite, especially for autumn, is Red Velvet. Then I have Berry Smoothie. And then I have Wild Watermelon which is a favorite for summer. That's a little bit more sheer. And then I have Sorbet. And I also have Sweet Tart but I can't find it. And I love them. I have, like, you see a lot of them. I think I've gotten most from my sister and in swaps. But I think they are really, really great. So that is another thing that YouTube made me buy. Keeping on with Revlon, I have here a few of their, like, balm crayons. 
and the first one that came out, there's no name on this because it's all rubbed out, but this is the Revlon uh, Just Bit and Kissable Balm Stains and I have a few of these like the first version that come out, I think I have four, I think, or four of them and this one here is Crush. But as you can see, there's no writing on it because it's all gone away because it's very well loved. And since these ones, they have come out with like more special ones. So I have one here that's lacquer, like very glossy and almost glittery. And I have two of those, but I have one here and this is flirtatious. And this is the Revlon Colorburst Lacquer Balm. And you see that here that is has a very shiny packaging. That is the lacquer one. And then they have the matte balms as well. And I have two of these here. Uh, but I only brought one and this is striking. And these are called the matte balms. And you can see the packaging is matte compared to this where the packaging is very, very shiny. And I love them all, but I think I mostly prefer the original ones and the matte ones. I can't really say why, but I prefer those two, but I love the lacquer ones as well. I just love these kind of crayon thingies. I think they are so convenient to just throw in your purse and go <laughs> on your way. And uh, this is definitely something that YouTube made me buy. I have one other item or product from Revlon. And these are these, and this are the Revlon Colorstay Moisture Stains. And I have two now, I used to just have one, and I got that last year in Rome, because they have Revlon in Rome in Italy, and we have a very hard time of getting it in Sweden. But the color I got then was Parisian Passion, so a very dark, autumny color. Absolutely love it. I thought this was going to be like a lip gloss, and I I'm not a fan of lip glosses, but it's like a lip gloss, but it turns into a stain, so it's not that glossy, like, sticky kind, so I really like it, and this past summer I got this one too, and this is the Barcelona Nights, and this is more of a pinky color, which this is purple, so you can see that they're different in colors, so you can see that there are very different for summer and autumn or spring and winter whatever you want to call it but these i really like and can highly recommend too next up i have some liquid lipsticks and these are the rimmel apocalypse liquid lipsticks or lacquer balm lip lacquers whatever you want to call it they have a thousand and one names i actually have three now but I used to only have one and that was apocalyptic and it is a bright, bright pink color and what I love about these is that you put them on they are a bit of, a bit shiny at the beginning but that mutes down after like a half an hour, an hour and then they just keep, they stay on forever and I really like it because they don't feel on the lips, so you almost forget that you have anything on your lips. And then you look in the mirror, it's like, whoa, that is a lot of color. So the colors I have, as I said, Apocalyptic, this bright pink fuchsia almost color. And then I have a more of a springy, summery color. And this is Aurora. It's almost like a light pink, corally color. Compared to this, you can see that is ap apocalyptic and that is Aurora. You can see the col shift in colors, the color. You can see that there. I don't know if it, my camera focus, but you can see the colors at least. And then I have my, I think my absolute favorite of them because you know me and my dark lips. And that is Eclipse. And there's a dark purple color. So you can see there that this is apocalyptic there and that is Eclipse. You can see there's a really different color. One is really really dark and I love my dark colors, you all know that. So that is no nothing new for you if you follow me for a while. The next thing is also something of course that YouTube made me buy and it's these Bourgeois Rouge Edition Velvets. They look like this and these are uh, matte lip cream or 
liquid lipstick. The, as I said, there's a lot of names for them. And the same here now, I have three of them because I love them so much. The first one I got was this very dark, very me color. And this is Grand Cru. And this is what I've seen so far, the darkest color. I think they have come up with a few more, more colors now, actually. Not entirely sure, but this, when I got it, was the darkest color. And I love it. It stays on four hours and you can't feel it on after it's set. So I, I love it. The other colors that I have are this uh, Person en Rouge. I'm really terrible at these French names. So I hope you will forgive me, but I'll try to link them down below. Uh, and this is more of a reddy tomato corally color. And this, as I said, is Person en Rouge. And the last one is my newest edition, actually. And this is like a strawberry, raspberry pink. Uh, and that is Fra what is it called? Framboise. I will try to write it on the screen here because my French sucks. If it was Italian, that would be one thing, but French, no. French is just not logical for me when it comes to pronunciation. I'm sorry, Frenchies, but that's my opinion. But I really love them. And especially for that they stay on for so long and the colors I think are really pretty and really suiting me. So these are the ones I have and YouTube made me buy it. I think it was my friend Mika who I saw them from or was it? Uh, Viviana does makeup shows them a lot too because she likes them. So I, I can't remember what, where I saw them but I know I saw them on YouTube otherwise I would have no idea what they were. So, YouTube made me buy them. Coming down to my two last items. And the first one is my first ever MAC lipstick. And this is in Cravings. And I have not... I haven't got a lot left of this lipstick. Uh, I think I saw this at a, an Australian YouTuber's video. I've never seen that shade before. I saw that video. And I actually haven't seen it after either. But I saw it, she did a makeup look and she put it on and I was like, yeah, that is the lipstick for me. That is such a me color. And true to it, this is my favorite lipstick of all the lipsticks I own. And that's quite a lot of lipsticks. And you can see that because I have used so much of this baby up. I just love it. And this is an ampl amplified lipstick. And when this... When I finish this, I am going to buy the exact same color again because I need to have it. I can't be without this lipstick. I love it that much and it's all thanks to Steetip. The last thing that I have in this video is this. And this is the Bite Beauty lipstick. And I think these are called Luminous Cream Lipsticks. And this is the little mini duo that Sephora has in the US. We don't have Bite in Europe at all, I think. But this is the one with velvet on this side and Palomino on this side. So the one I use the most is the pink, the Palomino shade. But I love them both and they are so moisturizing on the lips and they stay on four hours without needing a touch up. The only time I do touch it up is like after I've eaten lunch or something. I just touch up in the middle of my lips because that's where it can... Uh, disappear a little after I've eaten but otherwise they stay on for ever it feels like and I wish I had more of them I am trying to get my hands on some more of them so we'll see how that goes and uh, that is something too that hadn't been for YouTube I would never have known about this brand or this lipstick so that is definitely something that YouTube made me buy so that was all for this time and this is part two of my YouTube made me buy tag. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you want to know anything more about these products that I have shown, comment down below. And I was also always like if you like and subscribe too if you haven't already. And um, stay tuned to the next, I think, three parts 
and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!